Okay, Scorpio. So someone who ran away from you that was keeping you a secret is now wanting to return. I see this person wanting to apologize and uh, say sorry about something that they did. They possibly cheated on you here because that's what I'm seeing. We have running away, keeping you a secret, cheating, third party or acting single, engaging in suspicious activities. But now I feel like you're unfazed. And this person knows you're unfazed or they feel like you're just being distant and cold towards them because of what happened between the two of you. This person sort of feels like you still love them and that they have a chance to make something right with you. Because we have apology, wanting to make things right, doing anything to win you over. And then we also have verge. I'm about to confess my true feelings. Please be willing to listen. Okay, so let's get into your horoscope. Alexa, what is Scorpio's horoscope for today? Here is the horoscope for Scorpio today. Today's influence in your seventh house is shining its intense light on your relationships and encouraging you to give them plenty of thought during the next two weeks. If a partnership isn't working, is that because you need to bring it to an end or is it simply going through a rough patch? Problems may feel like crises now, but don't make that an excuse for rushing into irrevocable or drastic action. Wow. Okay, so Scorpio, that is your horoscopes. So let's get into these messages from the universe. Spare, what messages do you have for Scorpios? What do they need to know about their person and the situation? All right, so we have heartbreak, children, knowing they fucked up. And we also have timing. Break up suffering and grieving, unable to move on. Children involved, using child as a pawn, staying for the kids, and we have bad timing. Waiting for the right time, patience is needed. All right, so this is someone who knows they fucked up this connection, okay? But I feel like they're waiting to see if you guys are going to come back together or if you're going to make any moves. This person knows that they broke your heart, but I feel like because they broke your heart and whatever they did to you, they're suffering behind it. So it's like they're feeling this breakup, but they don't want you to know that they're feeling it. And they may be thinking to themselves, now is not the right time to come in. Just wait a little while um, until you're not mad anymore or until things have subsided is how this person is sort of looking at the situation. Because I feel like this is someone who wants to rush in, but they feel like this is not going to be good. Also, if you don't let this person just willingly come back and talk to you about something, I feel like they may try to use the children as a manipulation to do it. Okay, someone may be like, oh, I want to see my kids and um, or I want to see my child and then they feel like because of saying that that you're going to let them come back in and I feel like um who's reading was like that I think it was Libra's reading had that same message the cards came out the same way spare what messages do you have for Scorpio what do they need to know about their situation yeah you feel like there's too much wear and tear in this connection this love is starting to wear on me something has to change we also have a situation is about to explode, shit's about to pop off up in flames. So I feel like some of you keep arguing with this person and you feel like there's no need to talk to them because you can't get through to them or they're not listening to what you have to say. For some of you, this person is locked up. Okay, They're either in spiritual prison or they're physically in prison or in jail. And I feel like they may come towards you now because they feel like they need you. Um, they don't have anyone else that they can depend on. So you may hear a lot from this person. They may call you a lot or try to get in contact with you in some sort of way. Or you're already in contact with them. And every time you talk to this person, it's an argument or a problem. I feel like if you're dealing with someone who's locked up or in prison right now, this person may be expecting some sort of energy out of you that you're not wanting to give because it's like you may be looking at them like, oh, now you want to deal with me. Oh, now you know how to call me because you have to sit still. Yeah. So what messages do you have? Uh-huh. Yep. Somebody is fearing something here and they're exhausted. We have breaking point, tired of living a double life, too much drama on both sides. We also have fears blocking connection, scared to take a leap of faith, losing sleep due to fears. Hmm. So I feel like this person is dealing with someone else and they know that they have to make some sort of decision or you're going to be gone for good. 
and they don't want that to be the case, but they're exhausted with arguing with you and then arguing with this other person. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpios? We have workplace affair, shady female, broken promises, and long distance. So for some of you, you may be traveling or you may be dealing with someone uh, who lives at a distance and you may be wanting to go see this person or they're coming to see you. They could be traveling towards you. Also here, I see that some of you guys are dealing with someone that you work with. We have fooling around at work, having an affair with a co-worker. Or this person uses work as an excuse when they could be dealing with someone else. I also see a shady female here. So for some of you who are dealing with someone at work, you and another person may like the same person at work. And it seems like this person does shady things or says things to other people behind your back. And we also have broken promises, misled, trust is broken, unreliable. So whoever this person is, you don't feel like you can trust them. You may feel like they deal with you at work and then go behind your back and deal with this person. So what messages do you have for Scorpio? Yeah, you first. I'm not making a move. You know where to find me. And then we also have fed up. The feminine has had enough, choosing to find someone better, cutting their losses. Yeah, because you see someone as a liar. We have habitual liar, constantly lying, can't hide in lies anymore, and lies exposed. So I feel like some of you found something out about this person, and you want to confront them about the situation, but I feel like you're waiting. You're sort of waiting, maybe um, getting your information together. You know, I feel like you want to be really crystal clear about what you say to this person because you want them to get it. And you don't want to have like misinformation. You want to have all your facts straight. So I feel like some of you are going to go towards this person or either allow this person to come towards you. But when they do, um, you have something to say. It's like you want to clear something up with them. And depending on how this situation go is whether this person is even going to be able to, you know, communicate with you or still stay in your life because they lied about something. And I feel like you know what it is, even though this person is trying to keep it from you. I feel like that is a man manipulative tactic of this person as well. It's like they don't want to come toward you and talk to you about it. I feel like they're trying to see what it is that you know before they are before they like incriminate themselves. Yeah, some of you are ready to cut ties with this person. Yeah, you're over it. It says over it, tired of the drama. And we also have screenshots. I just said that. Some of you have some evidence on somebody. And you're like, nope, I have my facts. I'm... You know, getting my information together before I present it. And then it's like, yeah, if you want to come and talk, talk. You know, talk to me because we're going to discuss what I know. I feel like you may have asked this person about this already and they lied about it. So you, you know, just gained some evidence here and some proof. Yeah, it's about a betrayal, about a third party. Some of you may be dealing with someone who has the letter T in their name, or you could have the letter T in your name. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpios? Pregnancy tests. Okay, so some of you may feel like they got someone pregnant, or they did get someone pregnant, and they're hiding it from you. Or some of you may be pregnant by this person, and you're not sure if you want to keep it. Just take it how it resonates with you. Don't try to make that fit if it doesn't. Okay, so we have perfect match. You're both sexually compatible, perfectly in tune with each other's desires, making the sexual exploration effortlessly. And then we have left hanging. I'm sorry for leaving you hanging without any explanation. So I feel like, uh, Scorpios, you guys were dealing with someone that you thought you had the perfect connection with okay you were sexually compatible um and you felt like you were compatible in a lot of other ways and i feel like this person just ran away and left you hanging possibly ghosted you and you have no clue as to why this happened and i feel like this is why you were gathering your facts you know to present some sort of evidence to this person and i feel like some of you found something okay or you saw something and you took a screenshot of it and then you started gathering other other evidence so that, that when you talk to this person, you'll have your facts straight because you feel like this person's going to lie about whatever it is that you know here. 
All right, so let's get a couple more, and then we're going to jump into the tarot. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpios? What do they need to know? Using children as manipulation. Again, I'm telling you, somebody's going to try to use kids as a way to come back into your life. Yeah, I feel like this person broke up with you, or you broke up with them. And now someone wants to try and come back in and fix the situation. For some of you, because you pulled away from this person, they're obsessed with you. But I feel like there's a third party that's trying to interfere. Could be someone that they're married to or just someone that they deal with on the side. That they don't want to see you guys happy. They know about you, but they're trying to come in the middle of the situation. So what messages do you have for Scorpio? Give me one more for Scorpio. Yep, somebody feels like no matter what you guys go through, that you're not going to break up with them or that you're never going to leave them, that you guys are going to go through whatever and that you're still going to stay together. But some of you, again, are busting out the receipts on this person. It's like, I know what you did. I'm going to confront you about it. And depending on how this situation goes is whether we're going to be able to be together because you feel like someone is playing you. Um, because they have a lot of on and off energy. It's like one minute they're coming towards you and they're wanting this connection. And then the next minute they're running away from you. And you just feel like, you know what? I know something's going on. Even if they tell you it's not, you know, they're dealing with someone and you're going to get to the bottom of it. All right. So let's get into the tarot. Let's see what else the universe has to say. Let's see, what deck do I want to use for you guys? All right, I think I'm going to use this one. So what messages do you have for Scorpios? What do they need to know about the situation and their person? So we have the Ten of Pentacles. Some of this, I'm sorry, um, I paused for a second. Sorry about that. <laughs> Some of you, um, you're dealing with someone who has a family situation going on here. With the Ten of Pentacles, or you had a family with this person. Now, this is someone I feel like they're going to come back in and try to be honest and truthful because they know that's the only way to get you to listen to them or this is the only way to get you back. Okay, so there's going to be a new beginning here with someone, but I don't know if you're going to allow them to stick around because just because it's a new beginning that's coming in with this person and they're going to decide to tell you the truth, I feel like this person has done so much to you and they lied about so much concerning a family or a marriage that you may decide like to let it go because you may feel like there's no equal give and take here with the six of pentacles in reverse. You may feel like they're going to continue to give to this other situation and then, you know, try to go behind your back about something. So what messages do you have for Scorpio? Sorry about the noise. These cards are like really loud when I shuffle. All right, so we have the moon here, Pisces energy. We also have the Six of Cups. Yes, yeah, someone is thinking about you a lot. They're having nostalgic feelings and they're hiding something. And so it's like, I feel like this person knows that you have them figured out. Could be an Aries with this emperor, but they're still trying to keep control of the situation. It's like they don't want you to know that they're falling apart. They also don't want you to know that they're thinking about you. Some of you have known this person for a long time. You either grew up with them um, or you went to school with them or you've known them since you were a teenager. And you just have a lot of history with them. And I feel like you don't want to give up on them, but you feel like you don't have a choice because you can't trust them. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpios? Yep. Eight of Swords. You're like, what am I going to do with this person in this situation? Here come the changes, though. Yeah, there's some changes coming here. We also have the world card. This card sort of slid around in a circle. Like, I don't know. The world is in reverse. So I feel like this cycle is not complete between you and this person. Scorpio is here twice. Double Scorpio energy with the world and the will of fortune. And we have the king of wands. So it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, where you know that this is never going to end. This cycle is just going to continue. You know, you guys may break up, make up, and then do it all over again. But I feel like you're tired of the way that situation goes all the time. Even though you love this person, you're tired of them like turning their back on you, Scorpio. Or this person pulls away when they have money issues with this will of fortune. They may feel like you have money issues. I mean, not money. They may feel like you have money. You're doing fine. 
and they have like money issues all the time. And so this person could be a bit jealous of you or just like, um, I don't know, they may pull away because they feel like you don't have any issues or problems. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't understand what they're going through or you wouldn't be able to help them. You may be dealing with someone who's extremely insecure. Now, we do have the Ace of Wands here. So I do feel like this person fight with you and then they come back towards you with all of this passion and love and, and chemistry. But this Ace of Wands, which is the phallic sign, this person that you may fight and then you guys make up during sex or something like that. That's what this person is dependent on. They're feeling like this is you guys dynamic, the Five of Wands. Also, I see that this person may have you in competition with someone else and you know about it. And maybe this is what you're going to confront them about or talk to them about. Yeah. Two of Pentacles, you're tired of this person juggling. They also have money issues here. Again, whoever you guys are dealing with have some money issues here. And it could be um, coming in between you guys' connection. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpio? What do they need to know? All right, so we have the Page of Pentacles, the King of Swords. Some of you are dealing with an air sign. Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, or a younger Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. Now, take this how it resonates, because this is not going to be everyone's story, but someone here is wanting you to see them and view them and treat them as a king, but they're giving page-like energy. This person needs to grow up. They're very immature of how they approach you. They don't have much to give you, but I feel like some of you are like, okay, if you show me that you care... You know, and you show me that you have this genuine love for me, that everything else can be worked out. But I feel like this person doesn't get it. I don't feel like they get it. And you're tired of telling them this or try, trying to get them to understand this. Like, I feel like this person, this is somebody who feels like they can talk their way out of anything when it comes to you. It's like they like to fast talk you a lot, but they're not saying nothing. It's like they're not saying much of anything. And you're like so used to that now that it, you don't even let that uh, distract you. So what messages do you have for Scorpio? Well, that was a lot of cards. Okay, somebody wants to talk to you. And I almost lost control of all of these. I wonder if I should take these. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to take it. All right, so let's talk about them. So we have the Queen of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This person is trying to figure out if they should come back towards you right now. Okay, you're right in the middle here. Judgment, Scorpio Energy. I feel like they want to have a second chance with you, but they're very guarded because they're not sure if you're going to give them one. We have Leo Energy here. Again, the Hermit, Virgo Energy. Okay, we also have the King of Pentacles. So we have the King and the Queen of Pentacles here. Divine counterpart. I feel like someone is trying to get like you. Okay, they're trying to get on your level. They may feel like they already are or they uh, they portray themselves to be that way. Or for some of you. This is someone that you know you belong with, but they can't come towards you because they have something else or not something else, someone else that they're dealing with. But you see them as the ideal partner, the perfect person. Like you may have a business. This person may have a business. Maybe you both, your money is great. But what's keeping you guys apart is this person not moving towards you because of this hermit energy. They keep overthinking things. Could be a Virgo or a Leo, or a Virgo or a Leo is coming in between the two of you. Now, we also have the Seven of Pentacles, and we have the Nine of Wands. So with this energy coming out here, someone feels like they've built too much, or they have too much history with you, or you guys have built too much together for them to just walk away from it. But again, with the nine of wands here, you don't trust this person. And I feel like you feel the same way they do, but you don't know if you can have this connection with them. You're sort of like really guarded here, really standoffish. Whatever this person says, you question everything, you know, um, you look over everything with a fine tooth comb. It's like if this person tells you something, you first believe it's a lie before you believe it's the truth and you have to investigate. 
and you feel like, I don't know if I want to be with someone like this. Like your heart, this person still has a place in your heart, but it's like you don't trust them when it comes to, you know, everything else. Because I feel like they've lied to you, you know, several times or they keep screwing up and then trying to make it right, but they never get it right. And then this person expects for you to stick around. Yeah, we have the Ten of Swords here. So this person betrayed you. Someone stabbed you in the back. And now it's like they expect for you to still take them back. Still be in a connection with them, even though they betrayed you. We have the Seven of Cups here. We have the Page of Cups. Younger, Water Sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And we also have the Death card. I feel like some of you... um. You've ended something with this person, but you're not quite sure if it's over, if that makes sense. It's like in your head, because you haven't talked to them, you're like, okay, it's over. I don't care. I'm trying to get past it and deal with it. But I feel like this person is trying to find a way to come back to you with this page of cups and the seven of cups. They're trying to figure out like, what options do I have when it comes to Scorpio? Somebody is scared to tell you the truth about something, but they know the only way that they can come back in here, I mean, into your connection, is to be honest and to talk to you about something. But they are, they're like fearing it. They don't want to talk. This person is still watching you in the situation. Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy here with the Ace of Cups. There's a Sagittarius that want a new beginning with you. And they're watching you, like big time watching you, hoping that you don't move on. This person is either taking action, have taken the action already, or they're going to. Yeah, somebody is deciding that they want to hang on. So you expect communication from this person. This person is not stable, though. Definitely a Sagittarius. For some of you, it's a Sagittarius here, big time temperance card. They want to come in and balance something out. They want to talk to you. But the four of wands is reversed here. This could be your twin flame, but you just feel like there's no stability. There's no security. You never know where you guys stand with this person and you're, you're tired of it. But they want to hang on to you with the four of pentacles. Yep, after they walked away, eight of cups. They got a nerve, right? You feel like you got a real nerve. All right, so what messages do you have for Scorpio? Let's get one more. Sorry, give me one more for Scorpio. All right. Can't make this shit up. I'm telling you, this person's like, nope, I gotta come back in here. I gotta at least try to get Scorpio back on my side. So I gotta offer them this cut, hoping they accept it. So those are the messages that I have for your reading, Scorpio. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cards Never Lie Tarot. I'm also on TikTok at The Empress 522. And I will see you guys in the next reading. Bye.